The gadget is back in the So here's a look at everything that comes in the box. You get the smart feeder, you get the food tray, instructions manual, and this is actually laid out really well. Uh, so I recommend referencing this. You can reference the video here because we're going to walk through it. The only thing we're not going to be able to do is the app setup because I've already gone through that. So, but I'll show you what the app looks like and everything, but follow the steps in here. It's very, very simple. As a matter of fact, let me go through that with you really quickly. So basically all you're going to do is you're going to download the pet fun app. You're going to register with your email, set up a password, and then you're in. Then after that, the app is going to search for your, the Wi-Fi in your home. You're going to have to turn the uh, smart, uh, feeder on with the switch in the back and let me show you that so here's the switch in the back you're gonna turn that on obviously plug it in turn it on and then what's gonna happen is the link light will begin to flash it's gonna flash green it's gonna keep flashing green until it pairs with your Wi-Fi so that's what you're gonna be doing in the app so you open the app up you're going to find your Wi-Fi, you enter the uh, password for your Wi-Fi if you have one, and then the device is going to connect to your Wi-Fi. At that point, you're pretty much there. So that's the only thing we're not actually going to walk through. The other thing that comes in the box is the power cable. Now, the smart feeder does take uh, batteries. I believe it's... Uh, D batteries, either C or D, I'm not sure. Uh, you can put batteries in here for a backup, um, but I recommend just using the uh, DC power cable uh, that came with it. Okay, now inside the smart feeder is uh, kind of a uh, food bucket or container here. Uh, you don't even really need to take this out. You can leave it in, uh, but if you wanna take it out to clean it, you can do that, okay? But that goes right in here. And that's going to dispense the food automatically and manually from the app. Okay. There's a set. All right. Anyway, <laughs> there is a set button here. This is used if you want to pair to a, a new Wi-Fi or if something happens to your connection, you can just hold this down. I believe for five seconds, that'll get the link light to start flashing again to put it in pairing mode, essentially. Okay, let's go ahead and install the tray. You see these little tabs on the side. Um, so it's gonna kind of slide in and lock in place. And to remove it, you're just gonna push these tabs in. So really, really simple. It's just gonna go right in here like this. And you hear that kind of snap in place. And that's all to it. Okay, so this is where the dog food or cat food will dispense into. It'll dispense right into this tray from the canister here. Um, so we're going to fill this up with dog food. I have a dog. We're going to fill this up with dog food and then we're going to go ahead and start taking a look at the app. Okay, now I've got the smart feeder plugged in and turned on. Let's see if I can get it open. There we go. <laughs> uh, so you can see that link light is flashing. Now I have already paired it with my Wi-Fi, so it's just looking for that um, Wi-Fi signal right now. When it finds it, that green light is going to go solid. So we'll just take a second here. Okay, so as you can see, it has gone solid. So we are connected to our Wi-Fi. Okay, first things first, let's get some dog food in this thing. All right. Yeah, it holds quite a bit there. Uh, 
I'll put up on the screen how much it actually holds, but it holds quite a bit. It emptied out this bag, so that's good. Okay, now that we have the smart feeder all filled with food and ready to go, let's get on into the, uh, the app now, the Pet Fun app. So let's open that up. And here is the landing page. Uh, so this is the, uh, the main page and you see the interface here. You see um, sort of a picture there of the last thing that you were viewing. Um, so let's go ahead and click play there. And there's our live feed there. Uh, and you can see it is a, a pretty clear picture. <laughs> Actually a really good camera on this unit, which is kind of surprising. It's 720p HD. It's a pretty wide angle. It's 120 degrees, I believe. Um, so that it's gonna get a lot in the uh, in the frame there. And then you can see at the top there a photo of my dog. Uh, we call him Jelly. Uh, his full name is Magellan, but we call him Jelly. He's a schnoodle. And uh, he's been with us for about eight years now, and he's about 12 pounds. And uh, we got this for him. So uh, then at the bottom, you've got some icons down there. It's gonna uh, let you access pictures you've taken, record video recordings. You can take pictures from there. You can um, you can listen in. You see some headphones there. Let's do that. Okay, we're we're getting feedback. Let's turn that off. So you can listen in from the microphone on the uh, smart feeder. You can actually speak through the smart feeder speaker. It's by hitting that and we are talking through so I can I can call my dog jelly, my dog, jelly. okay so there's that and then over to the right there you can actually record you can actually record the um, the live feed as well okay and you can send this over to full screen let's come back out okay uh, so here's the main thing I want to show you oh let me make sure to show you where to put in your pet information so you can put your pets information in here uh, some you know you can even uh, put in here if your dog is very lazy <laughs> so, which is interesting okay now here's uh, one of the main features of the app let's go over to the feed tab okay so you can see here let me go ahead and turn that off okay so you can see the interface here you can see auto and manual uh, obviously with auto you can set up intervals for when the smart feeder will dispense food and look down here at the bottom you see 8 12 16 and 20 those are the intervals I've set up I might change them but for now just to kind of test it out that's what I've done so at 8 a.m. Uh, noon 4 p.m. and 8 p.m. the smart feeder is going to dispense five portions right now I have this disabled uh, but you just click here and that will turn it on and then that will start the automated process. But what's cool here is you can push on manual here and you can manually dispense food. So let's try that out. Let's just dispense one portion here. Uh-oh. What's happening? Are we not connected? All right, let's go back. Let's see if we're connected. Yeah, we're connected. Let's go over and let's try a manual feeding. One portion. I wonder if we can't do it because it's set to auto. Let's turn auto off and let's try it again. Nope. Huh. Oh, now it wants to work. That was strange. Really weird. Okay, it took each each one that I did. So it's dispensing, that was essentially three portions because I did it three times. Let's do it one more time in real time and see if it'll, if it'll work this time. Pressing done. Okay, there we go. All right, not sure what the delay was about there, but you can see how it works. You can dispense food whenever you want um outside of the automated um intervals that you set up and then you can see here it tells you how many you've dispensed for today i've been testing it out my dog hasn't eaten 16 portions but <laughs> i've dispensed 16 portions testing it out it'll show you what you've dispensed uh on the day before and the day before that looks like 
And that's pretty much what this thing can do. Uh, so if you go back to the home page, it's going to show you again uh, how, how much you fed your dog or your cat today, how many automatic feeds, how many manual, the last time that your pet was fed, and the next time scheduled. Really, really cool. And again, you have the camera here, so you have a live feed. You can talk to your pet. You can listen in on your pet. Um, this is pretty, pretty cool. So if you have a busy life, this is, you know, obviously this is something that you don't have to have, but it's a, it's a convenience. It's a, it's a luxury item. It's, it's, uh, and the, the fact that it has a camera and a microphone, you can use it as an intercom. How cool is this? Uh, so you can keep tabs on, on your little, on your little pet. Um, but if you're busy and you're running out of the house in the morning, you're getting kids to school, you're trying to get to work, you gotta, you know, let the dog out or take them for a walk or whatever. This is one less thing you have to worry about. Now you obviously have to still, uh, make sure he, uh, he or she has fresh water. Uh, but again, this is just one less thing to have to be concerned with. All right. Well, that was my review of the safe vaunt smart feeder i hope you found this helpful if you did please let me know down below if you like the video like the video uh, if you're not a subscriber please consider doing so i am so into gadgets i like all kinds of gadgets i like t trying them out testing them out finding the ones that work well and letting you know about the ones that don't uh, and i'm really into quadcopters as well if you don't already know so join me if you are interested and if you know anybody that would find this interesting, uh, please share the video with them. And until next time, be good to somebody and be good to yourself. Later.